Melodyne comes with a built-in synthesizer for quick orientation when moving notes around. I'm sure you're pretty familiar with this sound. But did you know how it actually works and how it can help your workflow? Well, let's see. Say you click somewhere in the middle of a note. Then the original audio is played back from the beginning of the note towards the position where you still hold down the mouse. And there it goes into a very short loop. The first passage sounds natural, but the short loop is a bit artificial. If you click closer to the end of the note, it sounds natural for a longer time until the loop kicks in again. The very short nature of the loop may sound a bit odd, but it has one advantage. It gives you a good perception of pitch at precisely the point where you hold down the mouse. And now you can, while still holding it down, move the mouse and scan through the audio note like under a microscope or so. This audible guidance is often welcome, but of course, sometimes you may want to turn it off. Then look for blob monitoring in this menu here, or remember the shortcut A, as in audition notes. My last tip of today is about an alternative method for a non-looped audio playback of the note. Make sure on the synth is still active, and then use the arrow keys to jump from one note to the other, and each time you jump to a new note, it will play back in its full length and without any loop. In this video, we've seen the monitor synth in action with a melodic file like one single vocal. What it can do in polyphonic files or in stacks of lots of vocals or so, I will cover in some different video. So stay tuned for that and talk to you soon. Bye.